Hi everyone, welcome back to another recipe mukbang. So today I am going to show you guys how to make one pot creamy pasta. I am using the penne, um, but it might. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. Um, so I do have spaghetti, some spaghetti on the side. Um, we'll see as we go. But um, like I said, it is a one pot pasta, so it's super easy. So honestly, all you have to do is to prepare the ingredients and let the pot do everything. Um, so I like using this pot for my mukbang, this grill, but uh, if you do have like, some kind of skillet, or just like a steeper pot, uh, I would rather use those. I guess um, since we're not using any heavy cream today, maybe it won't be as heavy as like a regular Alfredo pasta, but it is so, so I'm just gonna call it creamy pasta. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some milk. This is about two cups of milk. So we have some penne. This is maybe like two servings, I don't know, but. I feel like it might not be enough for me. And now we are going to add some Parmesan cheese. Um, oh no, let me make sure I break these. I feel like this is such a um, easy recipe. You could just kind of work around the measurements on your own, like. And you could honestly like it's kind of hard to fail as long as the pasta is cooked. <laughs> okay, and then we are going to add some butter. I want to add maybe like three fourths of a stick. <laughs> Let's add all of that. And then we are also going to add uh, some minced garlic. You could, if you like sliced garlic, um, you could do that too. Or if you like the whole garlic, garlic but kind of crushed, um, you could do that as well. Okay, I think I will add a little bit of pasta, like spaghetti, like that much on the side. I would add fettuccine, but I don't have fettuccine with me, <laughs> or any kind of like thicker pasta, because um, I think creamy pasta goes really well with the thicker, thicker noodles. So I'll just do that. Um, let's add some pepper. This is, I'm like doing this all over the place, but order shouldn't matter as much. Some salt. And then, this one you could skip, but I really do like my creamy pasta spicy, so I'm going to add some dry peppers. Crush it. Make sure to wash your hands because, um... Yeah, since you touch, and like just in case you touch, you know, you forget about it and like, touch your eye or anything, it will burn even after like an hour or so. So make sure to wash your hands. Okay, I, we could add a little bit of water. So you want to add a little bit of water since the pasta doesn't have to cook. Um, so I'm going to add maybe like one cup of water. And then I'm going to add, if you have any like chicken stock, you could use it, but I'm going to, I happen to have this, the cubes, chicken flavor cubes, so I'm going to add this into it. If you don't have it, it's fine. I do have shrimp, I'm going to add this towards a little later, um, because I don't want it to overcook. You know what I mean? So, now we wait. The lid broke, so I just... I have to connect. It sucks. Okay. Okay. So it's been maybe five minutes, um, but the it, it's uh, I just took the lid off because I wanted to evaporate faster, um, and it is still on high heat. And uh, I think when the the I think when the sauce shrinks another like in a half amount, I'm going to add the shrimp. Uh, I taste it a little bit. Mmm, spicy. Mmm, it's spicy. I'm excited. Looks so good. I just have to wait, make sure that my pastas are cooked. Yeah, they're still pretty. Yeah. They have a long way to go. Even my spaghetti is not really cooked. So. I just, yeah, let it cook. And then we'll be right back. Okay. Now I am going, so, it, I don't know if you guys can, can tell, it shrunk a little bit. I'm going to add my shrimp. 
um, and hopefully that in another five minutes or so we will be ready to eat so this um dried peppers i've had it <laughs> for over two years you know maybe a little more than maybe almost two years but i keep it in my freezer and it seems okay i mean it's still spicy it does its job so and i bought this for like two bucks like this like a little bag for two bucks and it's been, it's lasting me a while but i do have to refill it um like restock it soon but i want to find a good really a good one um so i don't even, i don't even know what it means to buy good dried peppers but i'm gonna look it up and kind of you know take my time on it buy good ingredients i'm going to lower the heat a little bit um that should still be enough for the shrimps to cook but it's definitely thickening up um i think it's just taking a little longer because instead of using whipping cream i use uh milk so maybe i didn't have to add um what is it water but uh, it did definitely add more flavor to the pasta so i don't it's okay um but uh, i'm saying that if you guys don't have anything like chicken stock or any kind of you know, vegetable stock or whatever it's okay just use a little bit more water but i think milk should do it mm, not, they're not like overdone either so i think we could wait a little bit wow that's spicy Try the spaghetti. <sighs> I think we could turn it off. Mmm. It's definitely not as um thick, like overall. Like I mean, it. it you see a little bit of cheese and curd like you know like all that i mean it's still creamy but it's not overall thick as cream pasta i mean like of course obviously right but um you still i feel like this is a good uh alternative when you want something creamy but like not as like heavy as alfredo i think this is a good like a halfway mm. Mm. Wow, and like, plus I put peppers in here, so it's pretty spicy. Ame has this look like kind of gives me that like half angry kind of pissed look so cute he's sitting right in front of me so I get to look at him while I eat this is good wow you know what I do like it a lot Maybe I, I do prefer using just regular milk instead of whipping cream, like heavy cream, because they're so heavy.
you guys prefer chicken or shrimp in your uh, creamy pasta? I think chicken is definitely there, but can't be shrimp. I got so quiet. Don't want to turn off the AC. I'm much quieter. Mm. Oh yeah, to <clears throat> just a quick update for my friends who's watching uh, American Horror Story with me. Oh my gosh. Um, so I finished Apocalypse and then I went back to Coven because I never finished it. And I wanted to kind of like get the like the whole background whole backstory um oh my gosh they're so good at oh what's that who's that voodoo queen the marie lavu la la, la no not la 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 no anyways oh my gosh she's like my favorite like her acting is just you like gets your attention like i just like love just i don't care what she's playing i just want to watch her act so good i, I want to watch other series but kind of creepy and i can't watch it alone and tong doesn't really want to watch it my parsley so I just <clears throat> Mm. 
Okay, <clears throat> so today's question is, and on that note, today is the last. Today's video is the last video for this week's uh, Starbucks gift card giveaway. So make sure you enter. Today's question is, if you could, if you could go back in time, exactly ten years from now, and give yourself some advice, what would you tell yourself? I was pretty shocked that I was able to answer this really quickly. I would tell myself. So ten years from now, I'd be nineteen. <clears throat> Right when I get into college, I would tell myself, be good at one thing. Like, it's okay if you if you suck at other stuff, but just be really, really good at one thing. Or just, like, pursue one thing. Don't try to, like, just... <clears throat> See everything as a competition, everybody as a competition, and try to be good at everything to beat everybody. Just be, be good at one thing. Mm. It's because I think it feels good and it gives you a lot of confidence when. You know you are just very good and known to be good at something. Like I'm known for it, kind of. But you know, in the end, it's not about anybody else. <clears throat> it is for yourself. In a way, it gives you purpose and identity. Um, it shouldn't be the only thing. Like you should be more than this one thing for sure. But I just what I've been feeling recently that <clears throat> I wish that. We've been cooking, like, I feel like I've been, I've been doing this for, like, a little over four years now, and I feel pretty confident that, you know, with cooking, but what if I did it longer? What if I started when I went into college? Where would I be now? No? Um... This question reminded me of the recent Terrace House. Um, this guy, he wants to act, he wants to like produce, he wants to be a model and all that. So he has a lot of things that he wants to accomplish. But what his roommates are saying is that, well, like I get it, like everybody w wants to be that. But, you know, like when you try to accomplish so many things, when you haven't even accomplished one, it makes you look so, it makes you look unfocused and kind of you know all over the place basically like it really shouldn't matter what other people think about you but partially it's true you know you if you, you if you you said that you wanna like if you can't even accomplish one thing or like be good at really good at one thing like well, how do you expect to accomplish so many like Five more things if you can't even accomplish one, basically. But that kind of reminded me of me. You know, growing up, I like my parents sent me to a lot of schools, like in Korea, like piano school, art school. Not that I hated it. I think I just lost interest so quickly. And I didn't have endurance and discipline. So. <clears throat> kind of one thing that. Um, I regret a lot. <clears throat> you know even if I hated it. And I just really didn't want to be there. What if I just stayed through. And even like this day. Even if I. Like, what could have happened if I just went with it? Maybe I eventually learned how to love it. Nothing. I mean, no, but I'm not talking about, like, 
oh, if you wanna, do you wanna be an accountant? Be really good at numbers and like I'm not saying that because they're just saying like unless you wanna be. Because I felt that just saying like, oh, your career will be set, guaranteed kind of thing. Not like that, but like just just be good at something that you want to kind of treasure for the rest of your life, kind of. And, and I think that might be different for everybody because, like I said, some people just might want to be good at numbers and become a crazy mathematician or whatever. But for me, it's more like creative side. Like, I wish I was really good at drawing or I wish I was really good at like this one instrument. Like, why didn't I take advantage of it when I had the chance to, uh, the opportunity to? Like, well, all the things that in my life was it so important that I couldn't see that, you know? So I would tell myself that. <clears throat> At least, like, take an hour of your day to practice violin. Yeah, no. Yeah. In high school, I even took kendo classes. What if I still took classes? How good would I be? No. I just feel like I like nibbled on everything, but never really stuck through. Maybe that's why these days I'm so obsessed finding hobbies and something I wanna that gives me like a title in a way maybe. I don't know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe I was able to eat this much because it wasn't so heavy. Add the dry peppers, guys. Oh. Maybe that's also why. <laughs> I'm going to end the video here today. Um, I hope uh Guys, all of you guys entered the Starbucks giveaway card, uh, gift card giveaway. Um, just, uh, just answer one of the questions that I uploaded this week, um, and I will reveal the winner tomorrow, Monday night. So I hope you guys enjoyed everything. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.